Hi guys and thanks for tuning in today. Uh, today I wanted to do a review of, uh, this was my 60th birthday present, for my 60th birthday. I turned 60 years old, I was born in 1955, so I wanted to buy a gun, uh, the ultimate gun. Um, you know, when we get older we don't know how long we're going to live. I mean, God can take us any minute. I've already, also at 60, got a heart attack, so you know, how's that go? Uh, granted, there wasn't much damage, so and I'm in pretty good shape still, other than a little arthritis. Um, but this was my 60th uh, birthday gift to myself, and um, I wanted to get something unique. So, for about one year, I looked. And I ordered this gun about... 12 months ago and it finally came in on my birthday was just July 15th um, and uh, I lucked out and I got serial number 5 there's another 5 and it came in the day of my birthday which was July 15th and it came in when I was 60 so I thought that was pretty good uh, kind of coincidences it was just meant to be uh, I was going to get the regular AF 2011 but I held off because the difference between the this one here, which is the AF-2011 Dueler, which is going to be in the James Bond movie coming up in November, Spectre, and the AF-2011, the standard one, the not the Prismatic, um, was about $1,500. And that, I didn't think, was a lot of money for a big difference in a gun like that. So I decided on this, um, and I purchased some better grips for it. And I'll show you that when we continue in the video here. I've got lightning cuts. As you can see these here, they don't come with the lightning cuts. Uh, I got a trigger job done to it. So, uh, some other intern internal tooling and tuning and to make the gun nice. And I also picked up an extra magazine, which I'll show you. So let's go ahead and start the review. And I'll show you some different things about it. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the gun itself is empty. Let me show you this. Flip it over. It's a standard 1911 style. You can see that. You know. Okay, but everything is double. Here's the magazine. It's a double magazine. It takes a double eight round magazine, which is all 16 rounds. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, lock it back to show you it's empty. Okay, you can see no bullets in the chambers. It has a uh, on-ramped barrel, okay, which means the barrel is not attached to the uh, ramp, okay, so the ramp is part of the slide, which makes it a little bit more efficient in feeding bullets. It's a adjustable, serrated, rear adjustable, serrated sight, and a front blade, uh, just serrated rear. The barrel is compensated and ported. The slide is has lightning cuts to lighten it. It does help with the lightning uh, lightning of the slide because the slide is kind of heavy. Uh, fired the gun multiple times. It fires very accurate. Um, show you a little bit better. Okay. The uh, firing pins. There's two of them. You have one hammer. I'll show you. I'll bring that down. Now that you know it's empty. And when the hammer fires, okay, see that? It has a wide rear polished beaver tail. And the trigger, as you can see, is dual. But it's one piece trigger. When you press, they both go back. Fires two bullets. So I don't know how the ATF passed it, but they did. Made Arsenal Arms in Italy. And you can see this here on number five. Really nice gun. Phenomenal. Takedown is extremely easy on these guns. I have some multiple videos on it. You just press this in. And I can actually just superficially show you. You just take that right out. See how easy that pops out with your finger. Very designed well. And everything has made it just so good. So everything, when you uh, work with it, it's just a joy. I have some custom grips for it that I also purchased. These are additional grips that I bought. 
I don't keep them on there. I'm just going to keep them in a plastic bag, but that's Arsenal Arms grips. And these uh, are uh, made in um, Russia. Okay. And uh, actually, the gun is made by Arsenal Firearms. Okay, itself. That's the manufacturer. But these are your nice wooden grips, custom wooden grips. Flare up the gun, really make it look really pretty. Okay, I have a set of those. But I'm going to keep them in the bag right now. Because for range shooting, this is, I kind of like this more like a combat. I have, like I say, two magazines. When I bought it uh, from Tony Moscato, he threw an extra magazine in, which was really nice because these are about 165 for the two magazines with the base. They're pretty expensive. But uh, takedown on these guns is pretty straightforward. Uh, taking out the grips is the same thing. You just unscrew these little screws. I may get a set of turbo screws for this. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I actually might actually get this uh, area is like here polished out and then get some engraving work done for this. I may or may not. I'm not sure. But that is my Arsenal Arms. And that is the AF 2011 Prismatic Dueler, which are, like I say, pretty rare guns right now. Um, you know, you can get them, but if you're going to purchase this gun, you're going to probably be in the, I mean, just baseline, about 74. And then uh, 7400, and then you're going to add the lightning cuts for about three or four. And if you add the grips, the grips are about 700 trigger jobs. So you might as well say you're going to have about nine into a gun. But the Prismatic Dueler is an awesome gun. It's a uh, nice collectible. And um, like I say, I was a little nervous there when I had my heart attack, but you know, I figure if my son wanted to sell it, he could just put it on Gun Rucker and sell it, or he could keep it. Thanks a lot for tuning into my video. Have a great day and I appreciate your time. And that is my Prismatic Dueler AF 2011, second century. Shoots two 45 caliber bullets. And this is not an airsoft gun, this is the real deal, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in and appreciate your time.